Who is J.D. Vance? He could be potentially the Vice President of the United States. So today, let's decode his face. Dana, would you like to ask me questions and then let me answer them? Or would you like to debate me on, on these topics? I noticed that when you had Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz, you gave them multiple choice answers to the questions that you asked and you allowed them to answer the questions. I'm happy to hear to be here to talk about policy, but if you're gonna interrupt me every single time that I open my mouth, then why am I even doing this? So please, ask a question and I'd ask you to be polite enough to yes. let me answer it. Yes. So today we'll decode his face and maybe we'll ask the question, why did Trump choose him as vice president running mate? So JD is born in Ohio and that's where his stronghold is. First thing I see about his face, he has a droopy eye. So I don't know much about his childhood, but he has droopy eyelids uh, that shows that it might have been a very tough childhood. He was a corporal in the uh, army and he was uh, posted to Iraq for six months, non-competitive role, corporal. Okay, his wife is Ursha Chirukuri of Indian descent. And you know, this is so unusual. Um, not that I'm against uh, interracial. Let's look at this, this is sharp pointy ears tells us, what did I teach you about sharp pointy ears? That is, he's not gonna be predictable. He's gonna be really out of the box. And you know, um, choices like this mm, doesn't surprise me. When a person has very even ears, he's more, he or she is more predictable. But when they have pointy ears, and uh, you watch my old videos, I'll tell you that they could be billionaires, they could be very brilliant people, or they could be good criminals. Okay, so he has three kids, and uh, the wife is uh, natively born in the US, uh, in San Diego, to, uh, from Hindu parents. And uh, what else we're gonna see? JD's ears are flat against the head. So, you know, that's uh, like a contradiction that he is really thinking out of the box, but yet he doesn't rock the boat. So he's going to be a, a good boy candidate. He's going to listen to his uh, bosses, but then he will always have this out of the box thinking. But what I like to do is also go into his uh, previous, his younger pictures without his facial hair and take a look at this picture. He looks a little bit more uh, boy next door, a little bit less assertive. And that is the reason why a lot of people do grow facial hair. They grow facial hair to look more fierce, more authoritative, and he, it really portrays it that way. But overall, JD has a law degree, so he's smart, he's above average. He has a strong nose ridge, which shows that he's independent and he can really handle things. But uh, the other, not but, but, the key, not but, 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 but. So the key point, I want, also want to make that he has this overall demeanor where his eyebrows are low, he's very intense, and he's a very left brainer. You see from the ears, he doesn't have the looping ear loops, the ear stretches all the way to the side. Okay, so these are very left brainer, so he goes by logic with uh, his law trained background, obviously he's going to be a very sensible type of person. So overall, um, I am not going to think that there's got a lot, be, a lot of surprises from JD. He's going to be a conformist, he's going to be a team player, he will think out the box a little bit. And you know, one more thing I like to point out, uh, he, I like to check the net worth. Trump is about $6.7 billion net worth. JD is about six to $8 million net worth. But what's going to surprise you is Kamala and Tim uh, both have quite low um, net worth. Why I say low? Because I come from a country where our ministers is paid exorbitantly, uh, the most paid, politi most well paid politicians in the world. The Prime Minister is over one, over a million a year, and the ministers are about a million a year. So I do like to look into the net worth to, you know, have a gauge whether they're in for the money, in for the politics, or they're just here to make America great again. Since you stayed to the end, here's a bonus for you. I, I do follow American politics a little bit. It's quite an entertaining thing. But one of the things that I think Trump made a boo-boo was in one of his recent rallies, he said, you know, women women are smarter than men. You know, he wants to win the, the women voters over. He, I think he forgot is that he's up against a woman opponent. Until the next video, this is Christian Trump.